Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're going over the batch note that we will be having in the 11th of July. And we will be having an overview over all the information that we have got for this batch note. So let's hit to Discord and have a talk around this batch note. So, dear adventurer, our server will be down from the 11th. And yeah, this time is uh, adjustable for wherever you are. So you don't need to be worried about the part with uh, uh, if you will be missing the wrong time or such. This is the exact time that it will be for me in Sweden. Most likely it will be a different time for you in any other country. So you don't need to worry about that part. So for the event preview, we have a special event. The Tata Festival event will be live from the 20 July till the 26th. And it have as well exclusive customs and abandons will be available for a limited time. So this is going to be a limited time event with this custom as well. So if you're able to catch these items, just do so because pretty much they won't be having this one added to the game later on. Well, at least from having a limited time. Never know what they are thinking or how they will be doing it in the future. That's something only them knows. And then we have in the past two of the the word of destiny will be live on July 20. The Heart of Luan will be removed from the prize pool while the Ark of Destiny is a permanently item. The Seruptions Assault Custom, Lazy Cat Mount and other will be newly added to the prize pool. So we go to the game to have a look over this one. It's pretty much the summon. These items here is the one that will be removed pretty much and will be having another item added into the prize pool. So if you're thinking about getting these items, it's better to take your chance now because once this update is live, you will be missing this. Okay, so for the gameplay, they will be significantly reducing the time to complete Dark Invasion. Well, honestly, I don't feel there is that long time to be finishing it, but it's always better to be having it shortened. Increase the number of destiny tokens acquired. That's something handy. And then for the arcane realm, coins can now also be redeemed at the destiny shop. That's really, really a handy thing, especially because we have in six runs of arcane realm, so it's helping out to get even more better gears and more amount, you know. For the quick catch up, added equipment reward in the main quest for below level 40. Reduce the completion difficulty of the tasks in the day uh, in the seven days goal event added advanced equipment redemption in the destiny token shop to assist in catching up that's to be helping out players when they are joining the same uh, server you know since there is an invitation code we can be helping out our friends to be joining our server without needing to uh, starting completely in a new server since it's something uh, that uh, the game is implementing that whenever someone add in you they will be going to a newer server they can't join the older ones without an invitation code so this is really something good to be helping be making them catch up with the rest when daily reward recovery is not completed player will no longer lose the rewards which can be uh, accumulated to recover later that's something I have experienced myself when not finishing the rewards or uh, the dailies every day you will be having a recovery like uh, when we go there i'm trying to remember where this was yeah the retrieve they will be added in here the rewards or the dailies we haven't finished they will be lasting till tomorrow as well so that's really something good for the uh, the experienced optimization the arena preparation stage supports rule and specialization switch. Added first clearance rank quests for Monarch of Oman Elite and the Monarch of Oman Epic. So this is going to be for the achievement. Added more plight dragon fragments dropped from the raid bosses. Improved the server network connection and some other significant improvements in general. And really, this is going to be extremely great to be having this adjustment. 
especially because we all want to be getting better and you know we want the game to be actually better so all this going to be really great that's all guys for the patch note to 11th of july i hope you all will be able to catch up with all the new things that will be added to the game make sure to be liking the video subscribe to the channel to not be missing any of my videos in the future till then take care and enjoy your game